Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about Banner's latest industrial wireless kit. So Banner's new production performance monitoring or PPM kit. I won't say that five times fast. Um, so we're going to do a little unboxing on this. And actually I'm going to start with the QR code on the box. So Banner's made it really easy to just scan a QR code and get all of the relevant documentation for this uh, kit. So I think that's one of the latest features and the coolest features on this uh, kit that we'll look at. But let's open it up and start talking about it. So let's talk about each component. First is Banner's prepaid uh, CDS uh, trial. So you've got a 90 day trial to Banner CDS. And that actually, that's actually gonna be very useful for this kit um, because it allows you to have that automatic dashboarding visualization of your data. Um, and you get it for free for 90 days when you buy a kit. We've got our D-Cell Q45 photoelectric sensor, our DXM wireless controller, and you've got a power supply. So let's first talk about the DXM wireless controller. Start by opening this bad boy up. All right, so our DXM wireless controller, what you'll see, you've got an LCD display, buttons on the front, four LEDs, and then it's pretty much just a power connector and an ether connect, ethernet connector on the bottom with a, an antenna port so that you can actually communicate to those devices in the facilities. You can get a longer range. So the DXM controller really just houses the solution. So it houses the PPM kit solution, all of the brains, all of the logic, the programming. Um, it monitors all those remote devices. It's doing trending. It's you know getting that performance data. It's being able to track uh, things like uh, availability. And so it's pretty much just the star of the show, right? Without this, nothing would work. So that's a DXM uh, 1200 controller. All right. So next thing we have is the Q45 D-Cell photoelectric sensor node. So this is an all-in-one type sensor, meaning that it's got a photoelectric sensor embedded and a radio embedded to the device. So really all you do is you apply power through a D-Cell uh, battery, so it's a D-Cell lithium battery. Um, and then this guy can start communicating back to the DXM controller. It can start sending that data of you know your part counts, your throughput, and the DXL controller takes all of that information. And like I mentioned, it just starts trending it, starts aggregating the data, starts monitoring. You know what's my uptime, what's my downtime, how uh, how often is my line in like a slow condition, and it's really simple to power this device. There's really just two screws on the top of the device, so you unscrew those, you lift up the cover, and then you pull out the battery holder. As you can actually see the radio on there as well. Insert the battery, put that back in, and it's that easy. You're pretty much your radio starts to turn on after a few seconds, powers up, and then you can start monitoring data and being able to actually, you know, collect that throughput data. Just close that back up, tighten the screws. And then the mounting hardware is included, so use a standard 30 millimeter mounting hardware. So you're pretty much ready to go with everything here. The last thing is you just got a power supply. So power supply, it's a wall wart style power supply. You've got international adapters or standard US adapters, I guess. So again, pretty simple. Click on the adapter, plug this M12 into the base of the DXM controller, thread it on, and you're good to go. Plug this into the wall and you can start collecting data and you can start you know, monitoring all of that production information. And the last thing is like I mentioned earlier, you've got the 90 day trial to Banner CDS, and this is what's gonna get you those nice dashboards. This is what's gonna get you that data retention, right? So not only are you monitoring you know, locally on the DXM, but then you have that data that you can go and look back you know, two months, three months, six months down the road, and you can see, hey, how's my uh, uh, production performance improved from the moment I you know, purchased the kit to now? And so that gives you that access, and we're actually gonna show you guys that in a bit. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about and show you how to mount the sensor, and then just a quick, you know, overview of what it does and how it works.